Hey guys, Arthur here. Welcome back to Mod School Tips and Tricks. Um, on this episode, we're going to be working on debugging. Um, debugging is technically removing all the bugs in your script, which which um, that's why they call it debugging, and like fixing all the glitches and all that stuff on your script. So I'm going to teach you guys how to do that on your own. And let's yeah, so let's get started here. We're going to go ahead and save that. We're going to go to Block Launcher, and uh, yeah, I already tested it out. Okay, so we're gonna import modschool.js, and the first thing it's gonna do is uh, it's going to say fail to import patch because of errors in the script. As you see right here, it says um, it shows you the content of the error. Sometimes it does that, and then it tells you what the error is. So it's missing a parentheses before the condition. The condition is if item equals 500. So the, so the condition is item has to equal 500. And it's on line number 9. So if you didn't see that, I'll show you guys on the next one. So on Droid Edit, for some reason, I, I don't know, maybe it's just Block Launcher or Droid Edit. I, I, I don't remember. I'm not sure. So it said, it said that it's missing a parentheses. Before the condition, and you see right there. Now we have the parentheses before the condition. Go ahead and save that. Let's import it again. See if that error was fixed. And now it says player add item inventory. That's the content of the error. And it's missing a um what is that? A semicolon before the statement. Now that's not the true error. So I'm going to show you guys exactly what that means. Mod school, it's on line number 12 because we have to add one to that one. It's not line number 11. It's line number 12. So we're going to go to line 12 over here and the reason why it said it needed a pre um a semicolon right there is because you need to have it right you need to have a semicolon right there kind of stating that um you're done with that. But what this really is, you're going to need to put a dot right there so that's what you need to do I'm gonna go ahead and save it all right all right let me do this I forgot to do that so now we're gonna go ahead and import local storage we're gonna go to mod school .js. now it says right here mod PE is not defined in line number two which is really not line number three mod PE now JavaScript is a case sensitive language, so technically what you're going to need to do is just capitalize the E right there. And we're going to go back, import it. Now it's going to say item is not defined on line number 4. Okay, we're going to go Let's see. So we fixed the error just by capitalizing one letter. Well, whoops. Save that. Import it local storage mod school right there. Now it says Adam category is not defined. That was not an intentional error right there. So you need to put an R right there. Make sure you spell everything right. Alright, let's import again. A lot of importing. See there now it worked. Alright. So now we're gonna go into whoa. What did I just do? I don't wanna go on that server though. Okay. Huh. <laughs> My brother's on. He's playing, alright. So now if you use if you use the stick of truth. It's gonna say there's gonna be an error that pops up. Block ID is not defined. Number eleven, um, on line eleven. All right, so here's line eleven, but it's the one after it. Block ID is not defined. The reason why is because there's no variable called block ID, and this is the variable you're supposed to use. Block. So we're gonna delete ID. Go ahead and save it now. Manage mod PE scripts, import local storage. Gonna go to modschool.js right there. And yeah, so now it should 
there's no errors popping up anymore. So yeah, so that's how you do bug scripts, guys. Um, I hope you guys wait. I forgot what that actually did. What that mod did. Hold on. Technically, what it does is it adds the block to your inventory. So that is that's what this mod does. Let's see, you're adding that to your inventory. It adds that to your inventory, so you can place snow everywhere. So yeah, so that's how you debug scripts, guys. Now it's the ending of the video. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe for more mod school videos and this mod tip videos and all that stuff. Um, yeah, make sure to leave a like. Leave a request on Twitter using hashtag modschool. And I'll see you guys later. Peace out.